Hello Gemini, welcome to the channel. I hope you're all doing well and thank you for your likes, shares and subscribes. Please remember this is a general reading. It will not resonate with everyone. You can look at your moon and rising signs as these readings might suit you better. And we have trust. Trust. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, you'll automatically it will automatically transform. So you've got to trust the situation and accept it for what it is. Because that's where your contentment and your happiness will lie. And he's very satisfied and content because uh, he's accepting his situation for what it is. Where you're at is where you're meant to be in life's journey, remember. So Spirit, please show me clearly what this is all about. Judgment call. Five of Swords. Two of Swords. Two of Pentacles, the overall central energy is the Ace of Cups, Queen of Swords, Ten of Cups, the Three of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. Now what we've got here is we've got a new opportunity for love coming in. This is a brand new opportunity for love coming in. Now, the thing about this is that you're going to have to trust the journey that you're on because you're going to have to trust this opportunity that is meant for you. Because what we've got here is we have got someone who's had to make decisions. You will have to make a decision about this, but you've had to make decisions in the past where you have had to compromise, find a middle path. There were very difficult decisions that you've had to make. This could be you becoming single. Uh, for some of you here, but there's been intellectual level-headed decisions that have had to be made here to find a compromise for you to move on from your past experiences. So there's a lot of um, history to you when it comes to relationships. Now, this could have been a bittersweet victory that you've, you've come out with. So you didn't come out with everything you've wanted. You've maybe had to leave things behind. You've had to take a step backwards, take two steps forward. And this is what this has caused. But you have had to be, you know, disciplined in your decisions. You've had to be very clear about how you go forward. And once this decision was made, there was no going back. So it was a decision that was very difficult that maybe had to be put off or you had put off. But by the time you made it, all credit to you here. But it's felt like a bittersweet victory. There was compromises that you've had to make in this situation. Now. There is a new opportunity coming in and we don't want to be dwelling on our past experiences and comparing it to what we've been through in the past. You know, new opportunities come in because you're ready for a new opportunity. This new person is crossing your path because spirit feels that you're ready for this. Now, what they're saying here is you're going to have to make a judgment call. You're going to have to decide how you want to go forward. Now. You might find this difficult. You might want to take your time. You might want to even do a wee bit of, I don't mean digging in a, a sense, but you might want to learn, get to learn a wee bit more about this person before you're prepared to go into a relationship, a romantic relationship with them. And that is fair enough. It could be that you're ready to, you want to speak up about how, what you expect from relationships, where you stand, how you feel about it, what your boundaries are. And that is fine if that helps you. But you're going to have to make a judgment call here. And this judgment call is going to move you forward. Now, when I say it's based on previous experiences, I'm talking about your intuition. I'm not talking about dwelling on past experiences. The judgment call that you made in the past released you from things that were not serving you. And that was fine. Now, because this can be repeated cycles. The judgment call that you made was based on things that you were dealing with, possibly deja vu situations over and over again. But that's not the case this time. This is not the same person. Now, this judgment call could release you from single life. It could change how you are seeing relationships. It's going to transform your life here because what Spirit's saying is 
that you've got to understand that two people can work together to build a solid foundation for the future, and that is where the trust is going to have to come in. And if you trust this person and trust the universe, that they have presented this person to you because you're ready for it, and you trust that you can make good decisions because of what you've been through in the past, you're more educated now, uh, you've got, you're wiser than you were before, the two of you will be able to work together to lay solid foundations for the future. Now, this is a collaborative card. So you're working together here to lay solid foundations. You're going to have to weigh things up in a well-balanced sense here. Good. You might even have to make room for this person in your life. You might be juggling too much. You might have to make room for this person. But you're going to have to trust that this person is crossing your path because the Spirit has sent them to you. And this is a relationship that could be well balanced. You're working together. You're making sensible decisions here about how to accommodate each other. Or if there's any issues there, you're working together to sort them out. Because there could be a lot of abundance in the future with this new opportunity that's coming. It's almost like you're going to have to put your faith and trust back in love again. You're going to have to trust that you have the right and the ability to build a wonderful relationship that's going to bring contentment into your life. Now, if you put the work in and you work together, there will be a lot of abundance that will come from this relationship. Because if you trust and believe that you can do this, then that is what will happen. Because if you believe it, you will see it. So there's a lot of abundance here, a lot of prosperity in the future. You will achieve your goal. This could be new people coming into your life, good support networks, meeting new friends, new family members. You're gaining new family members through this relationship. There's a lot of abundance and prosperity for the future in every area of your life. And there's lots of blessings. There's two tens here. Lots of blessings. And these are the productive tens. Lots of blessings at the end of the rainbow. This is somebody you could have a family with. You might be bringing families together. You could build a home with. There's lots of blessings for you or your family, or your soul tribe. So you'll have to take that as it resonates for you. But a lot of abundance could come from this relationship. There's a lot of contentment that will come in. But you're going to have to have faith here, and you're going to have to trust and love again. It's about trusting and love again, and putting these child. You, you made intelligent decisions before that were necessary. You were very clear about what you had to do, and what you, you, know, you wanted, and what had to be done. And that's fine. But that's finished now. That's over now. You're in a very well-balanced place. Things are going to work out. This is a major arcana. It takes patience. It takes time. Well-balanced situations. Harmony being brought back into your life. Harmonious relationship. Harmonious environments. Yep, it's here. You've manifested this, Gemini, and this person is turning up. This is Gemini energy. You're going to have to trust and take that leap of faith forward. He travels light. He's left all his challenges and his burdens behind him. He doesn't bring them forward into this new relationship. And there we go. Contentment, wish fulfillment from this experience. Okay, so I hope this helps. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.